We've all heard the admonitions about frostbite and how dangerous it can be when the thermometer goes south of freezing. So exactly what is happening to our bodies when exposed to this kind of weather? Well, some doctors will tell you that even a short period of time exposing your skin to sub-freezing temperatures can be like putting it into an open flame. Even though there are two different mechanisms, the ultimate uh, injury is full thickness loss of skin. But what's actually happening that makes it so dangerous? And how is it that some people seem impervious to the cold? First, when you're exposed long enough that your skin starts to freeze. The blood vessels are constricting. That decrease in warm blood means there's not enough heat to keep ice crystals from forming in the cells and oxygen stops getting to the tissue. No nutrition, no osmotic pressure. Result? Your cells start to die. But some, like Mike Marco, seem immune to the cold. He grew up in Winnipeg, Canada. This is like spring weather for me. I'm wearing my spring jacket right now. But UC Health's Dr. Mindon Nguyen says your skin doesn't acclimatize. It's all going to freeze at the same time. Still, those used to cold weather have some tips for coping with the cold. UC Medical Center nurse manager Denise Youngman says putting Vaseline on exposed skin will help protect against frostbite. And growing up on a pig farm in New York, her family had a more basic remedy. My granny would put lard on our cheeks. Now maybe gloves and a hat don't seem so bad. Scott Wegener, 9 on your side, Cincinnati.